Modern Warfare 3 Season 3 is here, and we have a new season of CDL ranked with that. So let's get your settings right and give you some loadouts that have just recently changed with some buffs and nerfs, what the players are using right now, and then when they're all solidified, we will do an entire loadout video with that too. But let's get into these settings. This is going to be a quick video because we have run through this a bunch of times, and I'm sure you've seen a bunch of stuff like this, but this is for a lot of people that are new to ranked or just in general want to see what some of the people are using. And I can obviously give you some tips of like what other players on phase are using as well, considering I am their head coach. But with that being said, these are my controller settings. I'm using edit button layout. I'm using tactical and I do not play flipped. Just for drop shotting, I do think drop shotting is a very effective tactic just in the general sense of rank play and Modern Warfare 3. Sliding into a drop shot is something that a lot of the players on phase do and a lot of pro players do as well. So it's something you can obviously use if you're playing on tactical or if you have a Battle Beaver controller, you can obviously use your button to slide or whatever kind of floats your boat for that. So that's all personal preference. And then we get to the dead zones really quick. The dead zones, I play on left stick minimum zero. I do play on auto tactical sprint because I am old and I am not in the CDL, so it's not GA'd for me. And so I like to obviously just have the best movement that I could possibly have and the most response on my left stick is very important and then the 65 left stick max is something that some pro players use to get the full effect of the left stick at 65 percent instead of 100 so you can see this red line right here if I were to move this line or move this stick max it would have to take all the way out there to get to the maximum instead of at the 65 and make sure you're careful because there is a threshold of where you're kind of just messing with your stick too much if you go too low 65 is kind of pushing it i usually do 65 to 85 depending on the controller that i have and this one works perfectly now the right stick minimum is going to be something that you guys have seen where a lot of people that are watching this video are probably pretty good at cod or just trying to learn a lot of the best content creators and a lot of the best pro players in the world are going to say that you should play on a lower right stick minimum and to a degree i fully believe in that especially if you're sweatier and a lot more talented at call of duty and you're just like, getting better at the game game that makes sense but at the same time people like Celium, who is one of the best aimers in the world play on six and he's played on six for a very long time so it really depends on what is the best for you instead of just copying someone else's dead zone and just going from there so anywhere from zero to like eight I would say eight to the absolute max that I would go to. You could probably get away with it just depending on the controller that you're using and all that stuff too. It is important. So I play on six. Uh, so does Celium. I know some of the other players on the team play on like three, two, or four. So it really just depends on where you want to be at with your right stick that works for you. And then right stick maximum, I would never touch. And then left trigger and right trigger, make sure they are at zero. So your controller is at the absolute most responsive it can be. Now, moving forward, a lot of you guys have probably seen this, but again, for the newcomers, the horizontal stick sensitivity and vertical stick sensitivity in the CDL, I think most players players use 6-6. Six, six. Celium does the 8-6-9-6 six, six area of like where he can obviously swipe left and right and use that. So that is something that is a little bit different, but most pro players, especially the phase players, all play on 6-6-1 six, six, and it is going to help them in the general sense of just be consistent with shooting. You can keep up at 6-6, six, six, especially from the hip and wall ADS. And on top of that, you can still be very consistent with controlling it, especially depending on how talented you are watching this video and how much you play Call of Duty, whether it's a few hours a week or eight to 10 hours a day. It depends on what you can control. So that's what I play on 6-6. Six, six. It's a very consistent sensitivity, probably the number one picked sensitivity out of most pros. Of course, there's probably some outliers, but that's what I would recommend playing on there. And then just keep moving down here. I wouldn't touch anything other than the response curve type. You should play on dynamic, especially if you're playing CDL ranked and then keeping moving forward with the ADS sense multiplier. I do not touch that. I don't touch any of the other stuff. Make sure you have aim assist on. And Black Ops aim assist used to be used by Draza and uh, Abizi. They both switched to default, so I did too. I trust them a lot more than anyone, even though I am their coach. They play a lot of Call of Duty where they can feel the difference between everything more than anyone in the world, considering they play this game 12 hours a day. So that is something that I would recommend trying too. They went from Black Ops back to default and they've been playing very well. We also just won Major 2 while they were using this too. So default is very important probably to use. Black Ops is not bad either by no means, but again, I just recommend default now. Since the Switch has been kind of made by almost everyone and especially the ones that play the game 8 to 12 hours a day they definitely know best when it comes to aiming and they're very good at that so that's what i'm recommending for you guys that is everything for aiming and now swapping over to gameplay again i play automatic tactical sprint i'm breaking the gas in the cdl i'm old i am retired i am not as cracked as the pro players pro players have to play on double tap but also in multiplayer auto tactical sprint sometimes doesn't help you just because there are a lot of times where you almost kind of want to bot walk in situations so if you want the most advantageous thing for multiplayer i would recommend turning auto tactical sprint off and then also just putting on single tap to run which just makes you single tap to get that tactical sprint instead of double tapping it's just a little bit easier but if you are in the cdo and you are trying to get to the big leagues you definitely need to play on double tap but again that depends on how sweaty you are and obviously down the line you can get used to that if you need to so most of the time for the ranked players watching this video i recommend either automatic tactical sprint just for the casualness if you're not playing a lot and if that doesn't work for you then i would play on single tap to run and then everything else after this 
I play on slide only. I think there's only one player in the league right now that plays hybrid, and that is Shotzi. Hybrid is definitely the best to get used to if you can master it. But at the same time, especially in CDL, you can get away with slide only. The phase guys use slide only. It's really good. It takes away that delay. You should not be playing on tap to slide or tap to dive. Please, God, do not play on that setting. Make sure you are on slide only. It will take the delay out of the slide cancel, and it will just make your movement a lot smoother. And then everything else here is just, um, you know, your standard stuff that you can copy. Uh, nothing else is going to be too crazy. A lot of this is obviously Warzone stuff that a lot of CEL players don't even need to worry about, especially if you're playing multi-ranked. So we're just going to go through that just so you guys can copy that. But yeah, nothing too crazy. And then here, these are my graphic settings. We'll run through these really quickly. Nothing too nuts. I play on 1440p. I have a 4090. Um, that's what I'm rocking with that. And then everything else too, on plus boost for uh, the low latency mode. And then just everything else is off or, you know, low or unlimited. Just the pretty normal stuff. And going over to the quality, you have the Fidelity Cast, which I would definitely make sure you guys are using and putting it around like 90. That's what most people are doing. It's very good for just the visuals of the game. And then the VRAM scale target for me, I have it at 70. Ever since I switched it to 70, I just haven't been crashing as much. And then everything else is off, the, the tracing's off. And then with the textures and stuff, depending on what PC you have and how much FPS you're going for, this is all depending on what you want to do. I could play on normal and the game still looks good and I'm getting good FPS. If you want the max FPS because your PC is not that good, I would recommend turning most of this stuff low or off. But this is what I'm rocking right now when it comes to the quality settings. I'm going to go scroll through these just so you guys can see everything. And then for the view, this is where I play on 110. I would not recommend if you were CDL ranked or ranked specific mode only when it comes to multiplayer. All the pro players for the most part play on anywhere from 105 being like around the max outside maybe one or two pros that I'm not even too sure about all the way down to basically 100 to 95. The players that are on phase are 100 FOV players. They love 100. So again, if I was only playing CDL ranked, I would definitely recommend 100 to 105. I'm pretty sure ASIM plays on 105. Tint plays on 100. Jaza plays on 100. The same thing. I sell you like everyone that plays on 100 here on the phase side of things. So again, I would recommend 100, but I am going for iridescent rank in not only CDL ranked, but also Warzone ranked at the same time for the season three. So that's why I'm in the middle of 120 and 100, just because I'm going to be switching back and forth a lot for my streams. So that's why I'm on 110. I recommend 100 if I was only doing CDL ranked, especially if you're trying to get sweaty with it. So that's the FLV that I would recommend. ADS field of view. There are some pro players in the multiplayer world that do use independent, but most of them do use affected for the visual recoil. So if you're a slower AR and you're playing really slow and you're trying to be like the main AR kind of role, you can get away with independent. But if you're a sub player or a faster speed player, you should be playing on affected 10 out of 10 times. And then outside of that, we scroll down, make sure you get your film grain and your weapon motion blur is off, your camera movement at 50%. And that is really it for yourself when it comes to your settings over there. And then if you go to your interface here, the big thing here is color customization i would go down to color filter to both 100 100 just to make the game a little bit more vibrant so you can see more and then you go to your hud bounds if you guys are playing multiplayer and cdl ranked for the love of god please look at your minimap and use it to call stuff out and the best thing that you can do as a player when you're using your minimap is bring it in as close as possible so it is not as far of a left look to look at your minimap to get the information so your minimap would be right here if they're brought all the way in if they're all the way out it would be up here which is just a little bit more of a look away from the center of your screen. And you know how fast and snappy ranked play and multiplayer can be. The less that you are looking at the center of your screen, the more time you have to get caught off guard or just not being focused on the gunfight. So you want to make sure you're looking to the left as least as possible. So I recommend bringing in the HUD as much as you possibly can to help yourself get the minimap rotations and all that stuff on par with what you need to do. Minimap should always be square. It is bigger when it's square, more information for yourself. And then I have the rotation on just because I think it's easier to read that way. I think most people have the rotation on. I don't know how people can play with it off, but that's just a thing for myself. So that is all the settings. I'm going to be getting near Destiny and ranked and Warzone. That's the goal for my feel free to tune into the streams and say what up i'm always here to give you guys answers on what some of the pro players are doing too especially the phase guys if you want some tips and tricks on like you know their class setups and all that and we do have some class setups that i'm about to show you and also show you a better class setup video when they're way more solidified when the game's got some more reps because there were some updates and buffs and nerfs but this is what we're rocking for the rest of that now let's show you some loadouts. And just when you thought they nerfed the DR6 hand stop a little bit, they nerfed the flash hider a little bit, that there would be a massive change in some of the ACRs. There still might be people are testing it. Some people have taken off the flash hider and put on billeted break instead on this, which a lot of people also just used in general too. But the two phase ARs, Draza and Selium, are still using the flash hider with the DR6 hand stop. And this is the main class that they are using for the AR in CDL right now. And personally, I love it a lot too. So this is what I would recommend if you're trying to be like the phase guys. Again, there is 
there's going to be a more in-depth loadout sheet video that I make for you guys to show you a bunch of different classes and what they do when we have some more testing obviously involved. And then going over to the Renetti, this isn't too crazy. This is just the Renetti that you can kind of use with the movement attachments because of all the GAs and stuff. And then if you move over to the Rival, Again, there was a nerf to the DR6 hand stop, and there's some classes that some subs use. But again, a BZ and Simp using this right here right now. This is what we're testing out. And when more loadouts kind of get solidified, I will make sure I show you on this channel what the best pro players are using and obviously how to keep up with them in rank. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. And I appreciate everyone, obviously, that shows love to this channel. A lot of you guys are probably FaZe fans in general, too, because this is more the CDL side of my work. And I appreciate you guys so much. So I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.